Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here doing a random pack opening. As you can see, we have a lot of packs here, 25 packs. Most all of them, I think actually all of them this time are hobby packs. Uh, we even have a massive pack behind you with three cards in it of Bowman Chrome, the HTA edition. So it's going to have three autographs in it. Uh, we got Chronicles, we got Tops Chrome, Bowman Chrome, Alan Ginter, all kinds of good stuff. All the good stuff, so we'll get into it here. So first off, we'll go through this side. Uh, got a pack of 2020 Bowman Chrome Hobby from a fresh hobby box. Two packs of 18 Ginter. Two packs of 2020 Gypsy Queen. A pack of Pro Debut Hobby, obviously. 18. 2018 to 2020 Stadium Club packs. I don't think we've hit an autograph from that Stadium Club yet. I don't think so. Uh, two 2020 Topps Chrome Hobby packs. Uh, two 2020 Allen and Ginter Hobby packs. Uh, once again, from a fresh Hobby box. We got two Diamond Kings packs here from 2020 a 2020 Heritage and then we actually have two of these I didn't see the other one, we have two 2020 Series 1 Hobby Packs in here which is pretty sweet, there's some good stuff in there a 2020 Heritage and a 2017 Series 1 looking for the Aaron Judge out of 2017 2020 Tops Series 2 and a Series 2 Silver Pack which is pretty cool Robert, of course. And then we've got 18 Series 1 and 19 Tops Update Hobby Packs. And then a 2020 Series 2 Jumbo Pack, which is sweet. We already hit the uh, Robert autograph yeah, out of that Jumbo yeah, that box. box so. so I think it might be dead, but we'll and, see. And then we got that Chronicles Hobby Pack and obviously the Hobby Box in the background. You want to just see who gets the best card and then we'll let the winner choose oh i kind of put more good packs on my side and figured you're just going to open it at the all end right. so well, we'll, that's we'll what see. i have all right planned. okay all right let's get into it we've got 2019 tops update so right now is the heart of the playoffs and the a's just took out the White Sox. White Sox Definitely an interesting format. Uh, pretty easy for a really good team to get knocked off if they have an injury or something or just have a one bad game kind of wrecks your whole yeah. series with that yeah. three-game format. three-game so. format, yep. Pretty interesting. Uh, but obviously a lot more teams are in the playoffs uh, because of that, So because of the format, which is pretty cool. And maybe yeah. some baseball purists don't care for that, but... I think it's pretty fun. I mean, you watch like four games in a day. Yeah, it is really fun actually to watch all the games at first. Obviously, it'll slim down now, but um, Padres and the Cardinals are on. Right yeah, they're now, on right so. now. They were part. Uh, the Padres are losing by one run when we uh, came down to make some videos, but obviously that game just started. And the Padres have tons of power, but they got to win or they go home. So that is. Big game. A big game, and uh, the Yankees already advanced. The uh, Tampa Bay Rays already advanced. Dodgers are ahead in their series. The Houston Astros already advanced. So it, it should be a fun second round for sure. I think the second round it goes up to five games, right? Or is it seven? No, I think it's five. Is it five? I think it's five. And then there's a Kenya. The yeah, the Rays lost or Rays. The Reds lost today yep, to the Braves. Braves advanced, so the Braves so. advance. I'm definitely uh, rooting for the Braves. Yeah, in these me playoffs. too. Me too. You the, know the Braves have like zero starting pitching. Did you see that? Like all of their pitchers are hurt. Yeah, yeah, and they're all their bullpen is huge. They got a super good bullpen. Mm -hmm. But the Padres are the team I'm really rooting for. But I don't think they have a chance because their two best pitchers, I guess, are knocked out uh, or at least not able to play in this round. So Munoz, Nola. Studio and their pitching all year was pretty bad. It was not really. Oh no, yeah, good. right. Their pitching. The, re was the not only very reason they're they so did. good is their explosive offense. Yeah, they so. score eight runs a game or whatever. Yeah, the poor Twins, man. They can't win a playoff series if they tried. Nope. Got, Sorry, Twins fans. Yeah, got knocked out again in the first round. Not even one one single game. There's a Kershaw, Calhoun, Rivera, uh, Zunino, Allen, and Ginter back. Uh, another Kershaw, 
Birdwell rookie, and Bradley Zimmer. The old Allen and Ginter back. Um, we'll do Stadium Club next year. Yeah, Blue Jays did okay. I mean, they obviously didn't win a game, but, I mean, they were playing Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is tough. Tampa Bay is good. Uh, I would love to see who does Tampa Bay play in the next round, do you know? I don't know. No. Dakota Hudson, Anthony K. Ooh, oh, cool. Carl, oh. Carlos Correa. Of course, the Astros are most likely not cheating this year in their playoff run. <laughs> No, they'll uh, forever be known for that. So Tim Lincecum and Charlie Morton with the old Devil Rays out uh, uniform on. That's pretty crazy. Oh, we'll do Series One next. So this is a pretty baller pack. So yeah, these things are loaded. I mean, you got all kinds of rookies in here. Uh, Santana. There's there one go. of them. Jordan, one of them. right there. Hey, there's and another Randy, one. The goat. The goat. He played actually really well. I think it was like three for three yesterday. Yeah, he played really well. Maybe three for four, but did really well. A Quayo rainbow, foil. rainbow foil and Whit Merrifield. All right, series two silver pack here. This could be big. We have, oh, we do have a thick card. Oh, there you go. A green. Take the two from the back first. Tony Gwen. Sweet That's Tony cool. Gwen card. Nick Solak. Oh, I gave it away. Jorge Soler. It is a yeah, rookie, but it Abraham is a rookie. Toro. Just, yeah, those are, what, 99? Out of 99. Yeah, not bad. I, I love the look of those silver pack cards. Uh, 2020 tops, Allen and Ginter. The mojo look to them. Not a hot box. <laughs> bets. Rookie bets. Yeah, no, not a hot box. Chapman, Smith, Yamamoto, Tim Anderson. He's been doing real. He did really well in that series. Yep. Bat. He uh, had a batting average of like 900 or something. He only got out yeah, twice. He's a, the guy's a machine. Winfield. Tops Chrome. Got Noah Syndergaard, Leba, Chris Paddock, and Sam Hilliard. Bowman Chrome. Let's see if we can get something good out of here. Yeah, one autograph per um, mini box. So we do have a thick card. So it looks like a refractor. So it could be something. We'll see. Uh, Corey Ray, Jeter Downs, Justin Dunn, Otani, and refractor Rockies. Good. Refractor. Glad it's not an auto. Yeah, right. Uh, Ryan Castellina. Out of four ninety nine, refractor, and twenty twenty chronicles time. This is a thicker pack, so hopefully. Yeah, I don't think they have fillers in this stuff. Uh, definitely not. But they do have. They do have definitely spectra something. cards. Oh yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> All right, Brendan McKay. Of course, this has twenty five different sets in it. So. Yeah, a really fun product. Definitely our favorite Panini product of the year. There's a Jordan Alvarez, and I just decided to show it. Cole Tucker. Let's say one out of 60. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, that's wow, cool. Wow, that's sweet. That's a little bit overboard in terms of the thickness for yeah. a regular <laughs> autograph. But, but that still cool. is too bad the name's not better. The but one thing I don't like is the ink is blue, and it's blue. I don't know. It's just kind of a little bit tough to see. But Yeah, the... The only problem is, is the way the card is signed too. They had to leave a little more white, and he had to sign it really low, yeah, really lower low down. But, yeah. There's an Aquino green. Those are not numbered, and a rook, uh, silver of Christian Yelich, which is cool from Mosaic. You'd yeah, be curious to know how those are selling. That's nice if they're too. That's trot out. after. Yeah, that's nice. Pretty sweet. All right. Well, you're up here, so. All Nothing right. Too crazy in that first half. The one autograph out of there. Um, and then a numbered card. So hopefully Let's the second do 2018 we'll um, Series 1. See if we can pull any of the top rookies out of here. A bunch of them. And Lucas Sims. He was pitching for the Reds. Hey, there's a Verdugo. He had a really good year, so that's not bad. Nice rookie to pull. And Nelson Cruz. Vasquez and Jed Lowry. All right, 2020 series two. Luis 
Robert in here. I think is Grisham in here too. I think he Trent is. Grisham, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Gardner Yankees are just tearing it up. And Dylan Moore, Reyes, Severino, Upton, Jack Mayfield, and a gold. Yanni Chirinos. Chirinos, uh, number to 220, and a Max Scherzer All Star. Lopez and Kobe Allard for the Rangers. All right, 2017 Series 1. See if we can pull any of the A top Judge Black. rookies out of this one. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be awesome. Moustakis, Nelson Cruz, Braun, uh, Steve Pierce, World Series MVP. Mm-hmm. From the Red Sox when he played for them that one year. And Matt Moore. So nothing out of that one. Let's do Diamond Kings of this year. So we can pull something weird out of here. We've always hear people saying they pull some really sweet stuff out of this. We've never pulled anything too crazy. The best thing probably pulls an Ozzy Smith autograph. Um Yeah. We've hit yeah, we've never hit that was out of a that Mickey Mantle relic was from something else. That was yeah, crazy. that was from a break. Yeah, that's from a break. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say that wasn't from Diamond Kings, was it? But it wasn't. It's was from Immaculate, I think. There's a trout. It's the T two oh six set. And then there's a Pete Rose. Alright, two thousand and twenty series one. Definitely a ton of good stuff out of this. To, that you can pull Rizzo and I think next year's is going to be just as good if uh, not better yeah series one could be really loaded uh, John Lester I don't really know who. what's up Cooperson, and we got a relic here Sonny Gray relic so not necessarily the guy you are looking for out of that but even so it's a hit what were you going to say about the Rookies. Um, who's even gonna be an update? What's what are gonna be the guys to get an update? I'm not sure because a lot of the guys got called up late and because um, people yeah. were thinking Robert was gonna be in there, but he right. ended up getting into series two because he came up so soon. That's kind of a funky pose there. Look, it is rather S weird. Stanton is hit a couple home runs there's a phil necro i think that's not joe necro it's phil necro right yep, yep phil and the safari these are actually kind of hard i think those are tough these safari are the sites. safari sites the animal ones this year are tough pull and then mats all right let's do stadium club and then we'll do pro debut Yeah, I don't know who's going to be in it because they, they, like, I heard some people speculate that, like, Alec um, Baum, he wasn't going to be in it. Um, and a lot of the other guys, too. That's that, what I heard, too, that a bunch of these people weren't going to be in it. But which, they're here. What's that? Or they're, they're playing. That's what I Right, heard. they're playing. Right, they're in the, right, they're in the MLB, but. But the way it works, I, I can't remember. I've actually never really heard a good explanation. of. I've heard people ask it before, but no one really seems to know without looking at what the legitimate like guidelines are for a player getting into a product or not. Yeah, and There right. is one, but I think it's mostly just up to tops. Well, and also people don't realize this, but they don't make these products. Oh, there we um, go. Justice cool. Sheffield autograph. Just That snuck up on me. Justice Sheffield autograph. Cool. Um, so a couple hits here. Uh, yeah, they don't make these products like two weeks before. No, I mean, like they make them months. months out. So they either a have to guess the guy's gonna get called up, which would not be smart, or you know, wait. So there's a there's a lot more that goes into making these products than I think you know what we often understand, um, and. 
I'm guessing a lot of it has to do with the timing of when they actually have to put a checklist together. Yeah, and and, especially with like the autograph signings and stuff. Right, right, usually right. if the player's a late base card, they'll have autos too, so... Well, and they have to leave some things for the next product. They can't put it all in. Yeah, the... that's why like Bowman Draft, they usually don't put either the number one or the number two guy. Right, they leave something on... in Bowman. If it's a pitcher, or... they'll put the number one guy in Draft. If it's a, you know, hitting prospect, then no. So we got something here. Interesting. I don't know if that's where the autograph usually is, or if it's like a refractor. I mean, a, a color. So let's see. Freshman Flash, that was Sheldon Nice and a Miles M- Mikolas, and then a Reese Looks Hoskins. Like a negative. Yep. Gene Segura, negative. I think we've gotten that one before, honestly. I think we did. I love the look of those. Those are those are sweet looking. All right, let's get to this Gypsy Queen, then we'll do the Jumbo Pack, then we'll do the HTA to end the video so hopefully you guys are doing well thing open real quick and enjoying this break if you are please hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already and let us know who you're rooting for who are you rooting for in the playoffs so we got one of these um is this tarot the diamond yeah those yep. are pretty common those are pretty common these are they're cool looking though of chapman and then a harper and it tames. All right, let's do the jumbo pack here. We got 48 cards, series two. We already pulled a Luis Robert redemption out of this, so hey, who knows? Maybe it's one of those super hot boxes. Tops does do that. You never. We have had that before. You hit a big auto, and then you'll get some crazy relic. Yeah, or some crazy too. relic. I mean, some of the boxes they just, just load loaded. up. Yes, it's crazy. So. But other times it's not the case, so we'll we'll see. Um, Wilson Contreras revved up. Now we get to these landscape cards, and our dog is barking. She tends to go a little bit um, rogue at night. She likes to. Uh, make some noise and be quite a bit of noise. I'll let very it. active at night. Part werewolf, I think. Come on, werewolf. Although if you looked at her, you wouldn't see werewolf at all. Oh, there we go. Luis Robert rookie. Dang, sweet. sweet. All right, that's a good one. Twenty-five dollar card right there. Cole Tucker behind that, which we pulled the autograph of Cole Tucker in that Spectra or Spectra the um, Chronicles. Chronicles. Sorry. Yes. It was a Spectra card, but. And then we have old Alex Bregman. Bang, bang, bang. Yep, hitting the trash can. This That's is a number black. One. Number to 299. That was a good pack. Gold, too. Justin Smoke, gold. And. A Danny Mendick rookie rainbow foil. So that's, yeah, that was a really, that was a good pack. Really good pack. Jose Barrios and then a Boba Shot. This a really good pack. 2030 card. So you can see right there, kind of a what this could look like in the future. That is Top's product. All right, Bowman Chrome time. There's All your right. pack. All right. So autos. let's see what we get out of here. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. These these to come in a hard plastic case, and they Maybe. usually Maybe. are covered like this, so you can't tell what is inside. So we'll see here if we have any color. Usually it seems like there's one colored card per. You can get base ones too, though. Yeah, you can. And Got a refractor right on top. So, All right, let's see who we got on top. They have paper between them now? Yeah, they do. They always have. Maybe they always have. That's oh, cool. It's not I'm bad. Yankee Yankees, that's not bad at all. Chris Take Dittons. that. Don't know anything about him, but any Yankees prospect in a refractor, I'll take that all day. All right. Let's see if we have another first oh, behind my that. Goodness. Oh, my word. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> all right. Two. two for two. Okay. There we go, guys. All right. Uh, wow. And no another base, but I'm yeah, no gonna, color, but well, another no, get one color. first. And wow, wow, this is a good pack. So Anthony Garcia, I mean, I don't know anything about those two Yankees, but like I said, anytime you get two Yankees prospects, 
Um, not bad, but okay, so if you don't know, um, Laura is the guy you're looking for. Now, one thing that is weird is look at his autograph. Yeah, it's really low down. Pretty and it just unusual. has his first name. That is true. <laughs> maybe we forgot to sign the Maybe we forgot to sign Maybe this is a, one. Maybe this is an eBay one of one. I don't know, but that is weird. That one uh, Garcia dude isn't very good. Yeah, okay. That's that's what I wondered. Garcia is not the guy you're looking for, but hey, who knows? And then the third autograph, the first one we pulled was a refractor. Chris Gittens, is that? That's yep, guy, right? Gittens, yep. It's a weird name. Kittens, right. Gittens. His most recent base. Uh, let's go to this. Let's see. Let's see. We're looking it up now. See if it oh, if it's like, have any value. Eh, not really. Not really. All right, but the Laura. They're both like ten dollar autos, but the Laura is like three fifty. So we gotta okay. look. We gotta look at that Laura. See if that is a weird autograph. If you forgot to sign his name. If so, it'll be interesting to see once what. If there's other comps out there like that, um, you know, cards out there listed on on eBay. We have another Laura card, so I'm going to take a look at that after this break and, and compare it. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely a fun break. We did rather well, if I may say so, um, and had a lot of fun uh, opening them. Uh, and hopefully you guys are having fun watching the playoffs and collecting cards. Thanks for watching. Please Stay tuned for more breaks, and we will be posting them as we make the videos. Oh, by the way, we did get Topps Chrome Sapphire, so we're hoping to break a box of that when we get that in. All right, take care, guys. Have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.